What is up, everybody? Welcome back to RacingDudes.com, and welcome back to another edition of our Kentucky Derby Top 5 Prospects as we hit the 1st of February, coming up here in a day or two. Here we go, and again, going to get heated up, as we all know, through February, March, and the first week in April. All right, let's get to it. Kentucky Derby Top 5, like I mentioned, probably would be changes this week, and there are, but not many. Let's go through them right now. Number 5 on the list, victory formation for Brad Cox. Uh, listen, the horse has been a perfect three for three so far. Stretch out and distance last time out in the Smarty Jones Stakes and look good at Oakland Park getting the job done. So victory formation at number five for now for Brad Cox. We'll see where he ends up next. It's either going to be the Risen Star or the Rebel Stakes. So we'll see if victory formation can stay up here high on the list. Number four, another Brad Cox trainee. Let's go to Instant Coffee at number four. Winner of two graded stakes races in a row including the LeConte Stakes last time out at Fairgrounds. Also won the Kentucky Jockey Club as a two-year-old last uh, race of the two-year-old season for Instant Coffee. So pretty nice horse again for Brad Cox. Um, speed figures are not overly impressive yet, but keeps winning races despite having four trips, and that's a pretty good sign. So Instant Coffee, number four on the list again this week. Number three, he's moved down a spot, and that is Cave Rock. Uh, why has he moved down? Well, he had a stable mate run really well that we'll talk about here in a second. That's number one. Number two, it's January 30th when I'm recording this. We have no published workouts for the for Cave Rock uh, in 2023. That is not a great sign. However, we've seen pictures of him. He is galloping on the track at Santa Anita. You would think a work's coming soon. There's no news that anything's wrong with him or anything like that. We just have not seen him work. Hopefully we see him work this weekend, or at least this week, I should say. And if we do, no big deal. But it's a little concerning. We have not seen a work back from Cave Rock. Of course, he was second in the Breeders' Cup Juvenile uh, last November at Keeneland. So we'll see if he can rebound from his first ever defeat uh, in 2023. All right, number two, I mentioned a stable mate to, Arab or to uh, <laughs> Cave Rock, and that is Arabian Night. And he's number two on the list this week. He was number three last week moved him up to number two after a dominant win in the southwest stakes at oakland park he took him gate to wire he took it to him early got right out in front and just kind of ran him into submission so arabian night number two for me i think he's got a world of talent test number one was passed very impressive win by arabian night now with cave rock and arabian night both by march 1st they're going to have to be with new trainers if they want to earn kentucky derby points so that's something we'll keep an eye on, and obviously we'll keep you updated on on this Kentucky Derby Top 5 list. But as of now, they're both with Bob Baffert, and they both, uh, well, at least the Arabian Night, looks very, very good in 2023. A very nice performance at Oakland Park. And finally, number one, and I'll keep him number one. Even though some people have moved Arabian Night up to that first spot, I want to see Forte, our number one horse, run one time as a two, as a, as a three-year-old 2023 before I move him uh, down because... He did nothing but win uh, three graded or three grade one wins in a row to end his career as a two year old, including beating uh, uh, Cave Rock in the Kentucky or in the uh, Breeders' Cup Juvenile. And let's face it, uh, nobody said he was going to be able to beat him that day, and he did. Now people are already uh, you know crowning Arabian Night. Hey, Forte's done that before. He's he's overcome those odds of trying to beat a Baffert before. So we'll see how he comes back. He's been working out. He's got two workouts down in Florida. I'm guessing the Fountain of Youth is where he will be pointed to. So we'll get to see him hopefully by the end of the month. So uh, Forte, number one for me still. I'll leave him here until somebody knocks him off. So to review, number five, Victory Formation. Number four, Instant Coffee. Number three, Cave Rock. Number two, Arabian Night. And number one on the list, once again, is Forte. All right, guys, that's it for the top five. This week coming up, we've got three Kentucky Derby prep races. Two of them have already been drawn. And they don't look great, but we'll see what happens. You, sometimes you get surprised on this trail. Uh, the the, Sam, uh, the, the, the uh, Robert B. Lewis and also at the Holy Bull both have been drawn. They'll also run the Withers at Aqueduct. Don't have that field yet. We'll see what happens. So three big preps coming up. We'll see if anything comes of them. And uh, we'll be right back here next week to update everybody. So hit like if you like the video. Hit subscribe if you really like it. Want to get alerted anytime we do Kentucky Derby updates or anything for that matter. And most importantly, thanks everybody for watching, and we will see you next week for another Kentucky Derby Top 5.
RacingDudes.com is your home for the best free picks for every race, every track across the country. We're ramping up for the 2023 Kentucky Derby, and we want you to join us in the fun. Subscribe to Racing Dudes' YouTube channel, like click the notification bell so you never miss a single video. Want to make money betting horses? Bet with the Racing Dudes.